What's up, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Misled Rebels YouTube channel. It's me, your boy, the kid, Devious. Alright. Yes, uh I'm the most easiest person to unlike. So if you don't like me, understand that you're like the majority of people. What that says about you, I don't know. Alright. So it's just a little intro. We're gonna be talking about, and I'm not this is not a video explaining on how to uh, print these frame this is just conversating talking about the frame you know having a little bit of a discussion if you guys have any questions make sure to drop them in the comment section that way i can respond i do suffer from social anxiety so give me a little bit of time to answer your questions you know you ask me a question and i'm going to want to answer it to the best of my ability so i won't answer right away and i want to make sure that i'm giving you the correct information okay with that being said, I am someone who speaks my mind. I'm not, I don't try to intentionally be a rude person, but sometimes it comes off as rude. I'm not trying to be rude, but past all of that. Um, also, I want to say that going forward, and I've used it very few times in the past, maybe one or two times to make a title for a YouTube video. This YouTube channel is going to be 100% non-AI. We won't be using, I won't be using AI art. Uh, I won't be using AI titles. I won't be using AI descriptions. Uh, so be ready for misspelled words, shitty thumbnails. But this is all going to be real life human interaction. You're going to be interacting with a human. I know that in these times now that's getting very, very far and away from us. So. I'm going to try to keep this channel as human as possible. So, once again, welcome to the Misled Rebels channel. This is your boy, the kid, Devious, okay? D-V-U-S. That's me. And uh, today we're going to be talking, I'm going to be talking. I got to stop saying we. I've watched so many YouTube channels and they say we. It's not we, it's just me. It's just me. There's nobody behind the camera. It's on a little gimbal follows me we're not in the studio this is my home that i share with my family all right my kids and whatnot so yeah so let's begin you're probably here because of the 3d printed frames um just wanted to do a little introduction you know i've been getting a lot of subscribers i wanted to introduce myself to the people let them know what this channel is about this channel is not in any particular direction um I'm not making any money off this channel. I just enjoy doing this. I enjoy recording. I enjoy editing. And I enjoy sharing things that I do with people and meeting like-minded individuals. Uh, I'm very different. So it's hard to find people within my realm who are like me or think like me. So, yeah. So let's, let's, let's talk about this frame right here. And I have multiple frames. This is... <clears throat> So I won't be sharing any links just because I, I feel like there's a sticky, like it's sticky, right? Like, uh, is it legal? I know it's illegal in my state, but if you download a link that I've provided, will I get in trouble for that? I'm not too sure. I'm not a lawyer. I'm an electrician. Electrician, I deal with electrical, not nutrition. Yeah, whatever. So uh, I won't be sharing any links. Um, I, I, I'll use the names of the files and everything like that, but I won't be pointing you in the direction of the website. If you're very interested or really interested in finding out all this information, it's on Google. You can find it on your own. Uh, I'll give you some keywords, specific things to look for, things not to do. Uh, that's going to be later on in different videos. But today I want to talk about, and I really wanted to... Um, just show you this frame that I printed. As you can see there, it says, I just want to make sure that camera is good. Misled Rebels, that's the name of the channel. And uh, right there, Misled Rebels. All right? Okay, so it's got me. Uh, Misled Rebels is the name of, uh, originally when I was in high school, back in 2005 or four, there was this name brand called Miss Skeen. And they used to make custom shirts, me and a good friend of mine decided that we wanted to try you know we were we were able we, were, we could draw i would say we were very artistic artistic not autistic might be both but whatever um yeah so me and one of my buddies came up with this name misled rebels as a company you know like as a name brand company and i promoted it over the years and 
I did make a bunch of shirts. I sold some shirts and whatnot. And it was for a, it was under 18 years old. You know, we were doing pretty good. We were doing well. You know, so it always, I, I've always liked the name, Misled Rebels, MR, Mr., Mr. Devious. So I think that was very cool. So I, I'm sticking with it as my name. All right. So this frame here, you can see that it's filled with, uh, it says Misled Rebels on it over and over. I thought that was pretty cool. This is my own. I, I created that in paints. So I'll show you how to do that in a later video. I just really wanted to snap this off and show you guys how it is to snap it off, how it's printed and whatnot. The reason I'm printing it in this direction and as opposed to, I believe that it was, it was recommended in the readme section of the file to print in this direction like that, ground up. Um, my experience with 3D printing, uh, I've been 3D printing for about four years. I've made several different things. I am... I would consider myself a noob in creating 3D items or whatnot, designing 3D things. Yeah, I'm a noob when it comes to that, but I've made a, I've made my fair share of 100% originals, um, items and whatnot. And I'll be sharing them with you. I'll let you know. I'll give you those files if you want to download them. Uh, th those files I have no problem sharing. And... Um, I really do enjoy it. I use a uh, Ender, which one is the Ender 3, not the Pro. It's a very basic model. You can find those with certain type of coupons or sales for as cheap as $100 I've seen. And it's a very good entry-level 3D printer that I do recommend. There's a few upgrades that you should do to it, and you'll be able to print these frames. Now, uh, disclaimer, I have not fired any of these. Currently, I am, um, I don't like using the word broke. Broke is such a negative word. So it's not in my budget at the moment to buy all the pieces and whatnot. And the, the drop-in rails is what you need for this. Um, the name of this particular file here, this one is called a Freeman G26. That's what this is called. This is called the Freeman G26. Okay. And that's what this file is. You don't have to change the size of it. If you download the file and you have a computer that runs Windows, you can open that right off the back in any of the 3D printing softwares, like the splicers, I think they're called, the slicers. You can open it directly on there and you can put it to print. They recommend printing at 90%. I print it at 100%. And... Um, I don't know which one's better. Sometimes uh, when you're printing, it takes a little bit more. It takes longer, the less infill. Excuse me. But yeah, I, I've, I've witnessed that happen from time to time. So this file here is called the Freeman G26. That's what this file is called, right? And uh, you can find that easily online. You don't have to pay for it, okay? If you have to pay for it or sign up or do any of this weird stuff, you're in the wrong site, okay? Just do a little bit more searching. Be a little bit more determined. Make sure that you verify the websites that you're downloading these from. Make sure you have a good... Um, and not that I've run into a lot of viruses when downloading certain these, these files online. I, I've never actually ran into any viruses or any type of Trojans or whatever they call it when downloading these files online. But I, I understand that there's always potential. So make sure that you're being smart when it comes to that. All right. Do your own research. OK. But yeah, that's the name of the file. Uh, one of the cool things about this uh, that I wanted to share with you guys and I was I'm going to share it, you know, but I was like, huh. The channel's been growing, you know, and I've been uploading more. We do a live stream, me and my buddies. We play Call of Duty. Join the Discord. I'll give you the links. Come chill, chat with us, and um, we'll, we'll get some quads, trippies, uh, duels, you know, whatever. We'll do a little bit of gameplay. I live stream all of that Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 8 p.m., whatever. So, again, with this file here, all right? Um... 
an announcement when I get uh, 1,111 subs, subscribers to this channel, I will be showing you guys using the software 3D Builder that comes free on most, uh, I would imagine, every Windows computer that I've seen that can run it has 3D Builder, All right? Um, this is a gaming laptop. It's not a laptop, but this is a gaming PC. I purchased it from Micro Center. Uh, if you want to know the specs of it, you got to give me some time because I, I kept all the boxes. They built the computer for me. I had no say in what went into this computer. They just recommend, I told them what I wanted to do, and they built it for me, and it cost me about 1500 bucks four or five years ago. All right. So this computer came with 3D Builder, which I'm sure, I believe that that's a, a free software that comes with windows computers and it's very very um useful I, I use that more i've been learning how to use blender and the other software but 3d builder in my experience has been very user friendly and it does give you a lot of tools necessary to do a lot of cool things so yeah Take that into consideration. That's a free software. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to do anything, right? And even doing this here, something like this where you're adding texture to the lower, you can do that on there. It's a few steps. I'll show you exactly how to do it. I'll show you exactly how to create uh, what you're going to be putting on here. It's about a three-step process. It's extremely simple. Listen, if you can interact on any of these social media websites if you know how to upload videos if you know how to point and click a mouse you will be able to do this right you will be able to put your own custom wording pictures lettering to a certain extent okay you won't be putting the mona lisa on here all right maybe you could maybe you could but yeah, I'll be showing you guys how to do that. I promise. I just need to get to 1,111 subs. All right. The reason I'm coming up with that number is because I like it. I like the 1111. It's pretty cool. You know, 1,000 subscribers, that'll be awesome. But as most YouTubers know, or you can understand that a lot of times you'll get to 1,000, or you'll get to 900, and then it drops down. It goes up, it drops down. Not significantly, but I'm a very small YouTube channel. So every subscription, that I see, I visit your site, okay, I see, I go on your page, I see what's up, you know, I like to see who's interacting with me, so, that's the type of quality you get here, so, um, yeah, let's just uh, rip this off, now, this tool here, my girl does a lot of things with clay, and uh, this thing right here, I can, I use it, as a little sharp side, just boom, pops things off, right, and, um, be very patient when you're ripping these off, you know, because a lot of times there's weak points on these and the weak points, in my experience, they, they do what weak points do, right? They break. So just um, take your time. Don't force it. You know, watch me break something here, but hey, that's what we're doing. You see the inside there? Do, 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 do. Okay, catch my face again. Uh, this gimbal that I'm using is a DJI gimbal. I can't tell you. I'll, I'll give you the information on the exact one. I just want to see because it did add a few different layers. And in my experience, printing... Let, let's rip this off first. Let's, let's do the big things. And I just... Let me uh, hit it with a little zoom out. Ooh. Okay. So we're zoomed out a little bit. Welcome to my house, guys. Be respectful. Take your shoes off at the door. So the tools that I have, this little pokey thingy, this little cutting thingy. And I also have uh, this assortment of... Um, blades and whatever you call those that i use i purchase most of these items or tools anything you see here i, I usually purchase from uh harbor fray i love that place 
Okay. So Harbor Freight, if you're into supporting small channels, what's up, baby? Talk to me. Talk to me. So right now what I'm doing, I'm just jamming it on the edge and breaking off, you know, the support. The support system that I use for printing this, I use the lines, not the grid. In my experience with 3D printing, the grid, the times you need the grid are few and far. It's for heavier, bulkier items. This is pretty light. This print, this exact print took 12 hours and uh, 42 minutes. I printed it on a raft. So if you're familiar with 3D printing and the support system, you know what a raft is. And I printed supports on building raft, you know, like on everything. I did supports on everything. I did uh, the lines, the overhang 10% or 10 degrees. And then there's another thing there that's usually set to 15. I set that to 13. It's just the amount of contact, I believe, that this has with um it makes it easier to rip off right so what's going on here is that these go all the way across right and there's a trigger in there there's a trigger in there right the trigger going so, so just, just snappy snappy and i'm trying to do this on camera right <laughs> and i guess i gotta mess with the settings a little bit more but uh I got to do this here on the desk. All right, so it's going to be off camera, but we'll keep talking, man. So what's up, guys? What are you guys getting into uh, 3D printing? What are you looking into? Um, there we go. There it is. I like it. I like the break. I, I enjoy 3D printing. I like the... I, I'm one of those people who like to create their own thing, you know? And 3D printing gives you that opportunity, right? So it's like, if I want to make something, and a lot of times I want to make things that don't exist, you know. It'll, it'll be something ridiculous. Hmm. Okay. I don't like that. Is that how's that finished? It looks a little bit um weird right there. But let's see. Let's see. It's like opening a well-wrapped gift. Okay. And we just want to snap everything off. And it's crazy because a lot of times there'll be one little section that's that's on there. It's on there really, really tight. And once you break that, it comes apart. It just falls right apart. With this, I printed, this is my third frame ever printed. This was my first big mistake. As you can see, I took some liberties, had some fun. Then I printed uh, this top rail. Separate to see how it would fit because I had some problems with the slide on that. Oh, Jesus, we're in 18 minutes. Okay, so sometimes you gotta be a little forceful. You can see I'm very, uh, I, tr I try to be calm and try to be cool, calm, and collective and patient. patient. My New Year's resolution was to be more patient. So I'm practicing patience right now, guys. So. If you see what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to be extremely patient. Usually, I I would be just tearing at this like a mad dog, you know, like a like a human being. All right, but we're trying to be nice and slow and enjoy it. I mean, you gotta enjoy it. Yeah, look how much fun that is. Be patient. I love, I, oh my god, like where would I be if I wasn't? Patient, right? Like, <clears throat> <clears throat> give me one second. I'm gonna break this video up into two. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this here. We'll be right back. Chit chat, and we're back. Look, I've taken so much off of it. And um, I guess you know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to go and get my uh, Glock. I'm not a Glock fanboy, and I hope I mentioned that this is for a Glock uh, G26 Gen 3. That's the Glock that I have. Uh, funny enough, I purchased that Glock when I lived in the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful country of New Jersey. I say country because New Jersey uh, doesn't seem to be part of the United States with some of its laws. But whatever. This is not a political channel, and I don't push my political beliefs on anyone. You're entitled to push, uh, you're entitled to your beliefs. We live in a country where you have the right 
to think what you want to think. You have the right to say what you want to say. And if you have the right and it, and it hasn't been taken away from you, you have the right to carry, to bear firearms. Okay. Uh, with that being said, I bought my first Glock when I lived in the state of New Jersey. It came with a 10-round magazine. It was a Glock 26 purchased uh, back in the 90s, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. But that's the story the guy told me. He said, this old man bought this gun back in the day, and he never fired it. He kept it in the safe. Right? And I... Over the years, I've purchased several firearms, and I believe that story that I was told, because um, it came in the tins, the Tupperware tins, for Glock, it came in the Tupperware tins, uh, that's old school, All right? the older Glocks come in those tins, it came in that tin, and it seemed like it's never been fired, or it was deeply cleaned. And that firearm, I used to go to this gun shop all the time. Once I got my paperwork, I would go. And once I learned about um, used firearms, I would always go to the used firearm section to buy or to look at the used guns. In the state of New Jersey, you have 90 days to purchase a firearm. Not for them to give it to you. But you have 90 days to purchase it. So they give you a piece of paper that says, hey, this person can purchase a firearm, a pistol to be exact, and they have 90 days, and it's crazy, because check this out, you constitutional lawyers or scholars, or whatever you call yourself, uh, will find this hilarious, sometimes you get that permit, the 90 days, right, and, and, it'll be, Two or three weeks in already. They'll issue it. It'll sit on a desk. You get a phone call. Uh, the officer, they'll issue it Monday. There's one officer that does two weeks of gun permits for three days. And he goes through the ones that are on his desk, calls the people, schedules an appointment. It's already been issued. He get, If it's issued on Monday, he gets it. It's already been dated by the police chief Monday. He gets it Tuesday. He calls you Tuesday. To set an appointment for next week. Two weeks have passed. Those two weeks are on already. So it's like you've wasted those two weeks. So a lot of times it's not 90 days. You get it and you have like a month to purchase the firearm. You know? And is there a... I don't remember if there's a waiting period in between purchasing. Um, I don't think so. I don't think that there was a waiting period in between purchasing firearm I think you could buy as many if you have the permits you could buy them that day if there's a waiting period it might have been for uh, a day 24 hours or something like that which whatever man look I'm not changing any laws here maybe one day this channel gets big enough where it gets the recognition where people will value what I have to say about gun laws and then we'll, we'll have a good conversation about that on my beliefs and what I think but I'm not at that point yet so got this little scrapey doohickey and um, be sure to be safe when doing all of this don't get hurt you know you don't want to get hurt uh, messing around with this all right like hey how did you lose a finger I was Practicing 3D printing a firearm and this happened. Also, again, I can't stress this enough, guys. Look, gun laws in certain states are extreme, right? To the point that even having a file like this can and will be used against you. So don't even play around with it. Make sure, you know, there's, if you want to get into the gun community, do it right. Man. There's nothing better than doing it right. There's not, it's, it's, it's more fun being legal and legitimate, you know, it, it, believe me, it, it just is. When you do everything right, when you try to be safe, when you do a little bit of searching, it just works out better for you. Okay? 
Yeah, but give me a second, I'm recording a video, right? Oh no, my gimbal's about to die. So yeah, here it is. Here's the frame. There's a little bit more cleaning up that I have to do. A few more spots that um you have to, uh, have to remove stuff. Ow, just stab myself. The inside here is... Hmm. Okay, so just comparing the two in the inside, there's a few things here that I have to remove. Let's uh, pop those out right quick. Not this one. Okay. That popped out. Okay. Oh. And what else? There was a few already in here. So yeah, if you do find this file online on your own research, um, a few things about it. Come on, baby. Watch me break this. Patience, buddy. Learn patience. We're being patient here, right? We? Everybody loves patience. You guys watch that new Rick and Morty show? The new season? What do you think about Rick and Morty? I'm almost Rick and Morty down. Got it. Mm, there's two little wings there. Right there on the side. I got a camera recording the camera so I can see it because I'm using an iPhone camera. I don't think I'm using a fancy camera. I'm using an iPhone 12 mini because uh, I don't need a giant phone. I find that crazy. If I wanted a giant device, I'd get a tablet. You, can, you know, it's just me. But the, I find that the camera on this phone is pretty good too. Hmm. Okay, so there you have it there's the misled rebels official tissue glock file i'll do a little bit more research and um i will share this file with someone at a later point in the future hold me to it i'll make sure that it's legal it's legitimate i'll find a way to verify that it's not just oh a little bit of a I stabbed it, I stabbed it, and there's a hole in the thing when I was jamming down on this. So yeah, like I said, um, give me one second, I got a little present for you guys. I'm going to get the slide and whatnot magazine, put it in here and see how it functions. I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. So this is my Glock 26. Uh, it has an extended barrel, a little, little bit longer with the threads on it. With this thread saver on there, uh, I'm putting in for my paperwork to get a suppressor. So, yes, uh, hollow tips because I can legally carry hollow tips. And, oh, check it out, check it out. So, let's uh, clear. Get my finger in there. Always get your finger in there, man, no matter what. So, rack it, pop it, snap it. Pull it, push it out. There you go. Now the slide won't stay there because um, there's nothing that holds it. All right. Yeah, it feels a little weird. Hmm. Just wanna just checking to see. That everything here is copacetic, right? And the stopper looks like it's about in the same spot. Those will be the rails, rails. So these are the metal rails right there, and the slide slides on it. So it's a set that you have to purchase, right? When you download this file in the README, it'll give you the instructions on how to make this block. If you're familiar with milling, like CNC milling and whatnot, you should be able to make that yourself. If you're not familiar with that, you can purchase it. 
Uh, I haven't purchased it yet because it's not in my budget. I'm fitting it into my budget, so I'll be able to purchase it when within a few because I want to buy everything. So it comes with, uh, I believe it was three different items. It comes with one, two, three. The front is an entire unit. And there's two little blocks that sit back there. They sit. Give me one sec. Okay, so. And they fit here. And they screw in. These are screw holes. So it screws into that. I would imagine you want to put some Loctite on that. And here too. It screws in. They sit there. Two different sizes. One's a little bit bigger. The other one's there. Boom, boom. That locks it in. Then it's this block here. Oh, it sits right in here. There's a pin right there. You can barely see very tiny under the D. 5% uh, battery remaining. We gotta finish this soon. So yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. So it looks pretty accurate. And I wonder why it's sitting a little bit. It's not sitting back. I, I wonder if it's because it's not, everything's not in place so it doesn't lock it in. Hmm. So essentially the firearm is gonna look something like that. So this is the missile. Oh, oh, it's getting all wacky. It's looking for my face. Let's turn that feature off real quick. So it's going to look like that. All right. Boom. And there's no bullets in there. Missile Rebels. With the magazine in there. And I forgot to alter this pin. So the magazine won't sit. Ooh. And there it is. So there's a little pin there that I didn't, um, you know, do anything for. I forgot to edit that. And as you can see, it stops it from going all the way up. And that's about equal distance. So it would be able to go all the way up if that pin wasn't there. Look at that. You see? So very nice, very nice. Uh, let's finish this off. I just want to give you guys a nice visual. I'll take a picture of this and I'll put it as the thumbnail. But essentially, this is what Ziglock is going to look like, my friends. And I think it's going to be very pretty. Okay, so there it is. Uh, and I mean, whatever, you know, if you don't like the writing on there, I just thought it was really cool, you know, to customize you know, to customize this to your own liking, all right? Yeah, here it is, something like that. So, let me just snap this in real quickly. And uh, that way it'll hold a little bit better. It'll hold this. So, there it is. This is what the official Misled Rebels Glock looks like. Okay, Glock 26. There's no way this gun can fire. All right, there's no firing mechanism in there. And uh, like I said, when I get to 1,111 subscribers, I will be showing you guys how to do this. And it's super easy. I promise you it's super easy. If you have the software which comes free, it'll work for you. Okay. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, do what they tell you to do. Right? Like, comment, and subscribe. Right? So, look. See how that sits there? Very similar. Very similar. But yes. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, the comment section is where we can discuss, have a conversation. Tune in uh, Friday, Saturdays, and Sunday. About 8 o'clock Fridays if I don't work Saturday. And Saturdays, 8 o'clock if I worked Friday. No, if I work Saturday, I'm definitely rocking. A little bit of Call of Duty. Sometimes we play Overwatch. We're looking to play some new games. Um, if you're cool, I will get you into the Discord. And you can chat and chill with us and watch us play games. Um, yeah, yeah. So thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around, all right? And if you like this type of content, if you're interested in it, if you have any questions, uh, reach out. Let me know. I will respond. We can talk, okay? But just have in mind, 
I'm busy a lot. I do have social anxiety from time to time, so it does take me some time to respond. But with that being said, peace out, guys. And remember, remember, okay, if you don't like me, if you're like the majority of the people, fall in love with me and you will be unique. Later.